it won't stop raining. Plan on taking the boat out today after I get out of work, but as you can see, it's raining out and I'm completely sick of fishing in the rain already this year. So up in Maine, trolling with a fly rod is something that uh, a lot of people do and a lot of the old timers do it as well. And it's just something you don't really see in other places and something that you can't really find a lot of information on either. Um, but basically you're just trolling with a heavier weight rod and you've got full sink line on, but they have a, you know, a specific line that's made for trolling. Um, it's kind of hard to get, um, but you can find it out there. So basically what I did was I had an old, not an old, but it's actually new. I've just never used it. Just a cheapo LL Bean seven weight fly rod. Um, it's an angler series. Um, so basically like a seven or eight weight rod, I guess is pretty good. And I had an old Fluger Metalist reel here. This is a rim control. Um, so there's no drag, it's click and pull design. You can adjust the drag tension a little bit with this knob right here on the front. But for the most part, it's just a free spinning, a um, little bit of drag, and you just use your hand as the drag. So uh, it just adds another degree of fun and difficulty to the whole thing. But as you guys know, fly rods are pretty limber and you get a decent sized fish on there and it's gonna take you for a ride. So this type of rod is really good for like uh, ice out trolling when you're fishing, you know, right on the surface down to maybe about 20 feet. Um, and it really depends on the speed of your boat and the sink rate of your line. It's harder to find that uh, greater sink rate stuff, but uh, it is out there, so. But anyways, what I wanted to do with this today is I got this fly rod and I could use it just like this, no problem. Um, it has a little fighting butt on the end of it and it makes it uh, a little bit easier to stick it in the rod holder. You can see it makes it kind of hard to rest the whole rod in there securely. Um, that would work just like that, but um, I think what I'm going to do is make an extension for this fighting butt. You know, so not only will it be for the rod holder, but for when I'm actually fighting the fish, I'll have something to rest up against my body here to give me more leverage so I can hold the rod and not get worn out. Because if you guys know you fought a big fish with a fly rod before, you're basically your wrist is what's holding all of this. And uh, when you got the, the boat moving one way and the fish trying to move the other, it's even worse and uh, just puts more fatigue on your wrist and uh, just figured it would be a cool little project to try to extend the butt on this. Uh, it's not going to be pretty but this is just a beaten around rod so um, we're going to extend that about six inches I think so let me uh, think of what I can do to make this work. Alright so what I'm thinking of doing is I'm basically going to either sand down that cork that's on the end of that rod there or I might not even need to sand it down, but I have two pieces of PVC here, two different diameters, and it just depends on what type of rod you have. And don't you, you know, you guys might not even want to listen to me because I've never done this before. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm just talking like I know what I'm doing. Two different sizes of PVC, depending on what uh, size your butt is on the rod. And I'd really would rather use this smaller stuff, but I'm not sure that it'll actually fit if I sanded that down all the way. So um, you can see I would need to basically fit around that. I'd have to basically sand that all the way down to nothing. So what I think I'm going to do is at least at first use this a little bit bigger piece which just about it will fit on there. Um, I'm going to cut that to six inches to see what it feels like. <laughs> So basically what I did to measure to see how big I wanted of a butt end, I kind of just held the rod out about the distance away from me that I thought I would like for fighting a fish, pretending that was resting up against me and just seeing how that would feel. And I just took a tape measure and measured it. So I like that. fits in there all right yeah that seems to work so basically I'm gonna do what uh, rod builders would typically do and I'm actually gonna build up this cork so it's fairly even with masking tape and then we're going to put a ton of 
two part epoxy in there and let that dry up. Okay, so that fits in there, fairly snug, not much play, and we're going to actually fill that all up with uh, two-part epoxy. Alright, so the next step now is we're going to take our epoxy, is the two-part epoxy, and I'll link this in the description because I use this stuff for a lot of different projects, and I use it for bait making, and a bunch of stuff, so it's probably the best two-part epoxy I've used. Okay. Guess we got enough on there, and now we're gonna take this end. I'm gonna take the end that's the straightest, push it on there, and see what happens. Should go on fairly easy because actually, I'm gonna unhook this now. actually want that to be up in there a little ways. Oh sorry, you didn't see any of that, but what I did was kind of just stand that up and fill that top part in with epoxy. And I kind of tried to make sure this was as level as possible. You can always sand, sand off whatever's left um, once this dries, if more drips down or anything like that. Now all we gotta do is just wait. Alright, so this is coming along pretty redneck, right? Um, anyways, we got this all glued up, and the reason the reel's on there now is because I actually went out and tried it the other day just to make sure it was going to work, and it actually worked. It worked really good. I don't know how many uh, footage of it yet, but you guys will see some probably uh, later this year. You saw me there in the last clip grinding down the end cap that I'm gonna use. So that's what that looks like. So I just ground it down, kind of tapered it a little bit. Um, could spend a little bit more time on it, but I'm not going to. I've got a pretty uh, thin edge here. So when I press that onto the rod, it's gonna be not as much of a sharp transition there. Um, and I'm going to glue that on right now. Just using regular old PVC glue. And get it on as tight as possible. Clean up that edge. So, um, you could just kind of, you could leave it like that, but we're not going to. So, this is going to be the next step. I don't know how this is really going to work. Um, I haven't actually done this before. Um, I have this wind grip tape here, and I'll link this in the description. Um, it's a camo, and we're going to actually wrap that butt end section, so it's going to be wind grip material. And now it looks so ratchet, hopefully. All right, and this little wrap kit comes with these little uh, finishing wraps here to put on the top and bottom if you need them. Usually you definitely need it on the top. Um, so we're gonna put one on the top here and should be good to go. I might put one on the bottom too, just in case. Check it out. One spot right here where I knew it was gonna be a little bit of a trouble area because it's such of a, such a, uh, difference in size from that butt end piece I put, but for what it is, I'm pretty happy with it. I got a nice wind grip material and looks kind of cool. Alright guys, so there it is out in the sunlight. It looks pretty good for what it is, you know, a piece of PVC, but uh, the wind grip really added a, a good feature to it. Feels kind of like a baseball um, bat or a uh, tennis racket handle now. Um, and it added, a, it added some weight to it, so it makes it a little bit heavier, but um, not casting it. It's just a cheap trolling rod that I put together, and it's going to be in and out of the rod holder a lot. So I wouldn't recommend doing this for like a casting rod if you want to 
like build a spade rod or something like that or a two-handed casting rod i would do it a legit way and put some cork and like buy an actual um handle piece to extend it but for trolling purposes this is going to work great and you can see how before the butt ended like right here so you have a lot of pressure with your hand um, there's going to be a lot of tension in your wrist and everything when that rod loads up so now you can actually when the rod loads up you can use your forearm and kind of brace it and it'll give you some extra leverage or you can place it up against your stomach there and kind of just you know reel them in like this so thanks for watching guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe and stick around for more redneck fishing mods like this that i think up all the time <laughs>